So let us make a user-defined Benzamid, which is right here, and compare it with the data banks of Aspen Plus. And we're going to add the structure, the boiling point temperature, density, and molecular weight. Let's see how it goes. Start a new one. We want to compare with Benzamid. So this is the data bank. This one is the user-defined. User define Pensamid. Pensamid will be the alias. Click next. Draw structure. We know it has a carbon, an amino group, and oxygen group. So this is double bonded. This is single bonded. Single bonded. And this is our molecule already. The molecular weight. 121.14 boiling point specific gravity similar to the density if we divide it by the density of water and we don't know this we don't know this click next we don't have relevant data if you have relevant data to any of your specific value add it here but right now we're not going to include this and we're going to estimate using Aspen property system. So let's click finish. Okay, and just ensure for this one to calculate bonds and the next step will be define and run. So we got some warnings that are not so heavy warnings, it's fine. So let's see here the estimation results. So we got critical temperature, which is 8020, critical pressure, which is well, 4.8 times 10 to the 6th power, which is 4.8 megapascals volume compressibility factor, ideal gas specific heat, vapor pressure, eccentric factor. And this is how we got the estimation from this data. These are several te temperature dependent variables, how the method that we use, the units and the parameter. You can review this and status warning functional groups, functional groups, functional group so I think this is a good estimation and you can compare later on the specific values okay now let's compare some pure data CP from 0 to 100 okay I think it's a little bit complex let's just use liquid comparison so you can see the specific heat is clearly not similar, even though if we zoom out, well, let's check the results. You can compare directly here, the theoretical one versus the real one, not a good fit. Let's see for the paper one. Okay, so apparently, they are similar, yet is still lower. Calorie per mole, yeah, they have the same y axis. What else can we verify? Maybe fugacity, how, how is this going to work? They have a very similar fugacity, so that's awesome. It's a good fit. And you can keep comparing, maybe, let's see, volume of pure component of the paper one. Let's see how it deviates. So the volume is actually a very good fit. Let's see what else can we compare. Paper pressure. You can see it deviates a little bit, but I will say it's, it's still a good fit. Because imagine instead of this is having nothing because this is by estimation, I would rather use my my obtained data from the estimation rather than using nothing so I will say this is a okay maybe not perfect uh, estimation but very 
rough estimation and we can continue to the simulation environment and start already simulating with our molecule.